please welcome Council President Roger Berliner. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, on behalf of all of my colleagues on the Montgomery County Council, we salute you among us today, some 150 strong, who more than 70 years ago reshaped our lives, our history, and our destiny. Writers far more eloquent than I have struggled to put into words what your courage and sacrifice has meant to the generations that have followed you. So accept this humble tribute as one more modest offering of our deepest gratitude and respect for all you did. <coughs> Honoring you reminds us of so much that we often lose sight of, how close our world was to succumbing to unspeakable evil, of the extraordinary service and sacrifice necessary to endure, and of the sense of shared purpose that permeated our country and deepened our resolve. The world really did exist in black and white at that time. There was no nuance to ponder. There was only a job to get done. There was, at that moment, an iconic poster that captured it, a poster of Rosie the Riveter, a factory woman with her sleeves rolled up under the banner, we can do it. And you, ladies and gentlemen, did it. Whether you were camp liberators, or guarding our own shores. Whether you were in the European theater, the Pacific, or Northern Africa. Whether you served in the Army, Navy, Marines, Air Force, or Coast Guard. You were our world's white knights in shining armor, defending the realm. Today we gather to honor you and to hear your stories. For while so many books and movies have been made, Nothing is so powerful as hearing directly from you, particularly since your generation was not much for talking about such things. Most of you bore your experiences within. My generation seemed to have invented therapy, and we talk, 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 or talk about our issues. And the next generation has gone one step further, and you can see every secret in the world on Facebook. Yours was the stoic one, holding it deeply within. That was certainly true of my own father, Lieutenant David Lee Berliner, captain of the USS Requisite, a minesweeper that was part of, the one, of the, one of the most extraordinary efforts of the war in the Pacific. Minesweepers, as you know well, took the lead in convoys that battled for control of the Pacific, protecting the cruisers and battleships that followed in their wake. Like so many of you, my father did not share many of the details of his war experience with his family, not his wife, not his son, or his daughters. He carried the wounds of the war on the inside. But I heard enough to know that every day he woke up knowing that the odds were not on his side, that the kamikaze attacks were too close, and that too many of the ships he sought to protect went down. And yet in him, as I suspect in each of you, there was steel, there was unwavering faith, and there was a profound respect for the chain of command the brilliance of the men he served under, and the bravery of the men who served with him. So today you have to indulge us as we bear witness to your, your unique contribution to world history, whether you were on the front lines or bandaging the wounded, whether you were making the planes fly or keeping our crews supplied, whether you were at the Battle of the Bulge or on Iwo Jima and witnessed our flag being raised as two gentlemen in the front row did, Montgomery County celebrates and salutes you. <laughs> In 
and it is fitting for our county to do so because now we are home to the finest medical institution in the world dedicated to caring for our brave wounded warriors. We see every day the sacrifice in life and limb that those who have come after you have been called to make. It is itself a daily and painful reminder of the cost of defending our liberties and of not backing down from tyranny or terror. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished veterans of World War II, my colleagues on the County Council and I are proud to have initiated this celebration of you. And we owe Neil Greenberger of our staff a special thanks for conceiving of it and carrying it forward in such a splendid manner. We thank all of you for coming out this morning for this special ceremony. But those of you in the audience, you can make it that much more special by making sure that you come up after this program is over and express for yourself your own heartfelt gratitude. I know that so many of you are the children and grandchildren of those we honor today, and that too is so special. And we have this young lady in the front row who is five years old. That's because she's 105 and she decided she'd start over. <laughs> so it is just a total privilege to be part of this ceremony and I'd like to end like I began. Let me salute you. <laughs>